Welcome back to our apartment where I'm releasing a rap music video that I'm very excited about it. It's my rap debut. Oh, that's very exciting. So it's gonna be my first rap song. Yeah. We also made a video for it. Yeah. Music video will come out. It'll also be on streaming platforms. Your rap debut actually started with a live performance. That's true. Yeah, here's the footage. You played on a rocky shore somewhere in uh, southern BC. I was easily double the age of most of the uh, attendees. And I was probably the second oldest. Yeah, yeah, it was a weird feeling. I was drinking a beer very far away mm -hmm. and I still felt like I was going to jail. I was like, I didn't, yeah. I didn't even talk to anybody. I'm just like, I feel like I shouldn't be here. If cops rolled up, it's like, put two and two together, we're the ones that booted for them. Putting two and two together is harder than it sounds. Two uh, and two. two. So what are we doing today? Well, let me ask you a question first, actually. Do you like Cradle of Filth? No. 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 Just hard stop, not at all? I liked the song Her Ghost in the Fog when I was like 14 years old. Okay. But I don't even know if I liked it, I just knew of it. So like Her Ghost in the Fog, <clears throat> not even in like a top 10 for me with Cradle of Filth, so. I'm not offended by that. No. You're reaching from a, a, a ghost in the fog. poisoned bag to begin with. Poisoned bag is not a metaphor. Why not? It's a bag full of poison. You shouldn't put your Why hand in there. Why don't we just you keep, let's keep moving. In. Okay, so basically I've assembled Cradle of Filth riffs that I think are really fun. I'm trying to convince you that maybe they're not so bad. Do you think you're going to be successful? Probably not. I don't, I don't mind the easy riffs. They're all like so easy, but it's fun. It's fun. I'll be the judge of whether or not it's fun. It's time for another uh, disgusting ad read from Manscaped. So here it is. I'm going to read it off this screen. Uh, ugh. If you haven't heard already, it's smooth sack summer. God. When you're playing in the summer sun, make sure you're escaped from pubes to bum. That's right. This is the summer to keep your balls cool while still looking hot with Manscaped. The leader in Below the Belt Grooming is making sure we all have a ball this summer. Okay, I like that one. By giving our pants partners everything they need to stay fresh. Dive headfirst into smooth sack summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code word BALD20 at checkout. Manscaped has been sponsoring the channel for a few months now and it's been awesome. Uh, the stuff they sent me was great and I still use it. Uh, well, I mean, I used it all yesterday, actually. I'm not gonna show, I, I'm not gonna get this. It's good. I'm not gonna get into the. Well, I'll take a look. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. That's for the Patreon. They just make great stuff. I enjoy their products. I use the cool little leather uh, toiletry bag thing on tour, and I look way cooler than all the other guys in my band. And it's not just the mustache. So if you want to support the channel, and believe me, it really does help support us to make these dumb videos. Uh, head over to Manscaped.com. Use code word Bald20 for 20% off plus free shipping. And thank you so much, oh my goodness. Okay, we are starting with the song Honey and Sulfur. It's super easy, but it's really fun. Okay. Why do you like it? Mm, you'll see. Here it goes, in the fire. <laughs> Okay, so this is a riff that you gave me in hopes that it'll make me like Cradle of Filth. We've made the guitars louder because it is a guitar video, but a big right. part of it is like the organ oh, sure. that's happening in the background. Okay, Dude, fair enough. It's like this yeah, yeah, yeah. So you like the whole, the cool whole... organ tinkling around in the background. Sure. That's like the best part about it. And then we're doing the tremolo section after as well. Okay. Hilariously easy. Okay. If I had to give it a rating out of 10, I'd probably give it a two. <laughs> yeah. You know, in the DSI one, I was like trying to challenge a certain skill set, like actually putting you to the test. These are not a test in any way. These are just like riffs you like. But I mean, it's better than like a... Yeah. I like it more than like a bluesy rock kind of riff. Yeah. It's cheesy. It's sort of like, whoa, but it's, you know, at yeah. least it's got like blasting behind it. So for that, I guess it's not so bad. They're all gonna be essentially that easy. That's fine, that, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So what's level two? I have chosen a riff from Cthulhu Dawn. Okay. 
Okay. We'll play it up here, I guess. Yeah, that riff seems pretty easy. Yeah. I think I learned it just by watching you. Yeah, I think you did. I don't hate the melody. It ends with that sort of that dance, yeah. which is a thrash riff. Again, like, yeah, yeah, thrashy kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, they get a threat for something. The woo, that is how you could probably describe this band. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the album Ooh. art. The album art right now is. There's like a. Right. There's like a like, scorpion woman in there. Or scorpion well, man. Scorpion man, ghost man. There is literally a. Oh, <laughs> which all bands could benefit from. Uh, let's play this fucking riff. Okay. Okay, that one was harder than level one. Yeah. It wasn't hard, but it was like it's, definitely more challenging. That riff I find <clears throat> really fun. That's true, yeah, can't, good. can't deny. I don't hate that riff. All, all right, right, all level right. Two, not too bad. Right, not too bad, right. that's fine. Well, maybe you we'll change my over That's okay. Now we're going back a little bit easier. Oh, perfect. Because now we're gonna do my uh, two favorite Cradle of Filth songs. What are you doing with your hand there? Oh, I see. I think these are just like objectively good. Sure. <laughs> I like these songs a lot. I think I'll be sad if you don't like them at all. Prepare to be sad. <laughs> Level three. Yeah. And this one is for a song that we cannot say. Well, we can say Gilded Sea. <laughs> Gilded Sea word. Do you know what vajazzling is? When you put like the little gems, right? Isn't that what this is? Gilded? I thought they were talking about uh, like a celibacy, what's that thing called? Celibacy belt? A chastity belt. A chastity belt. Yeah, I mean, it means covered in like sparkly gold. It is covered and... in gold. So, I mean, you could pour searing hot gold on somebody's But that's a, that's, a that be... that's a vajazzle. That would fuck them up, though. Sure, it would kill them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so what does it mean? What does this song mean? I don't know, let's just play the riff. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool riff. Uh, I like it. Yeah? I like that riff. Sure. It's a simple guy. It's a simple guy. Yeah. Simple guy for simple mind. I also do like, just like... Like it's just like a big power chord and like low fret and low strings. On a six string. Yeah, it's nice and heavy. It sounds great. It's yeah, heavy. especially in D standard. It's like, yeah. That sounds cool. You wanna try it? Okay. And then listen the one after. That's a great riff. With, the thrash with, band with like spooky old woman vocals in it. Yeah, spooky orchestrals and crazy vocals. I mean, his vocals in this era are so awesome. Even his lows are really good. All right, I, I like that one. That's a good one. It's a good riff. Hey. Yeah, I mean, like it's pretty simple. It's hard not to like that. I mean, that's a metal riff. It's good. Yeah. Great dumb guy riff. I can always provide the dumb guys. That's true. Yeah. The last song we're doing is another favorite of mine. Oh, Danny Phil's eyes are staring at me. Yeah. It's called it's Babylon AD, So Glad for the Madness. And this is a song I have been listening to since I was like 12, probably. It's a couple of years. Yeah, a couple of years. Okay, pretty easy. There's one note in there that kind of makes it sound kind of dark. That open note. It's kind of cool. That's cool. I like it with the... Yeah, I mean, it's cheesy, but what year is it from? 2000... 2003. 2003. That was like prime uh, Children of Bodom. Just all the all like, that like good, cheesy campiness of the early 2000s. Yeah. I mean, we've just been watching The Matrix. Oh, yeah. Love That's, those movies. That... I didn't think I liked them, and they're fucking awesome. They're so good, but it's the same sort of like sentiment. Yeah. They're good because of that cheesiness. That's true. If you because recognize it, then you're like, it's a it's a product of the time. I'm into it. It's fucking awesome. Okay. Well, this is a product of the time, and I'm fucking into it. <laughs> I gotta say it. Okay, let's try it. Up. I 
I think that um, I imagine sometimes, because I play in a band that's very technical and fast, and I imagine sometimes I daydream sometimes. I imagine a time where I'm playing in a band that's easy to play like this mm -hmm. and just having fun rather yeah. than worried about every note being, you know, because I mean like this is pretty easy. Yeah. And if you fuck it up a little bit, who cares? No, cares. <laughs> it allows you to just like be into it. Playing this shit is just downright fun. But uh, none of that for me though. Um, I enjoyed the riffs. You enjoyed the riffs. It was just the first one you disparaged. The first one was kind of whatever. I don't even, at this point I don't even remember what it was, but. Oh yeah, that one was, that one's pretty lame. The other three were great. So, Cradle of Phil, Slight, did I slightly change your opinion? I would say that if I liked them a three out of 10 before, maybe a two out of 10, I would like them maybe like a two and a half now. A half a point. I got them a half point. I think a half point. Like, were you surprised? Yeah, yeah, like? I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, good. So thank you for showing me that. I appreciate that. Now uh, our relationship is hereby dissolved and I no longer need you. Oh, okay. I'll be selling that. Thanks for watching. If you want to buy a oh, wedding sure. ring... It'll have a finger attached to it. <laughs> but I like, I like this. Yeah, I like this This feels too. good. This feels nice. This feels nice. This feels nice. We're talking to each other. Yeah. It's been radio silence for months. And now, we're spending time together. Yeah. Really bringing Open, it back home. Yeah, you know? opening new horizons <laughs> of our relationship. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Goodbye.